Hey everybody, welcome. This is the first of many project videos. And each project is gonna include a whole bunch of stuff that we've already done in the video series, plus a couple extra things that might not be in the series. So you can actually learn a lot by watching these. Uh, you could probably, if you're paying close attention, you could learn almost everything you need to know just by watching these projects and going through and learning how they work. So pay close attention. Uh, hopefully you pick up something new in each of these. And I will break it down into a few smaller videos uh, each project and I'll add some extra stuff on at the end as well. So if you, uh, if you don't like doing the series, if you'd rather learn by doing, I suggest maybe watching a few of the series and popping over here and doing the projects because you'll learn the same stuff but it's done in a little more interesting way. It's not as in-depth, but it's still uh, more interesting to learn the basics. All right, so in this first one, we're gonna do a number guessing game, and we're gonna cover some of the topics like uh, if statements and try accept and while loops and things like that. Okay, so first thing I wanna do though is I wanna set up uh, in this project a game loop. And in the looping videos, we talked about uh, how you can use a game loop to keep a game running forever until the user exits. Okay, so I'm gonna create a game loop in here and it's very easy, you just say while true. So this loop, remember if this condition in a loop is true, the loop keeps running. So in this case, I, I, the loop is always true, I gave it the value of true. So you can just say while true. Now this will create an infinite loop and infinite loops are bad if you don't have a way to get out of that infinite loop. But don't worry, I'm gonna give you a way to get out of that loop. All right, so before we go into the loop, we're gonna welcome the user. Welcome to the number guessing game. And then we're gonna enter the loop. All right, so when we enter the loop, we want to have the user guess a number. And the user's gonna, gonna guess a number, and then if that number is the number that we chose, then they win. If not, then they lose, or well, I'll tell them high or low, and then they keep guessing, really. All right, so before we do that, though, we need to pick a number, right? So I'm gonna just pick a number 10 to start with. So we're just gonna put 10 in here so we have a number, and then I also want something to keep track of the number of tries. And if you remember, I told you the syntax, preferred syntax in Python is underscores to separate uh, variables. You might see in Java and other languages, you'll see stuff like number of, well, probably more like number of tries. So this is called camel case, and camel case is every word except for the first one is uppercase okay so in our in our programs though with python we use underscores and everything is lowercase for variables all right so coming in here first thing you need to do is get the input so get input and to get the input all right uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a try and an accept. Whoa, I didn't need to put all that in there. Try and accept, okay. So in the try, I'm gonna create a variable called guess. And this guess will just say input. Um, let's, how do we wanna phrase this? We'll say, what number am I thinking of? What? number am I thinking of? 1 to 100. Okay, and then we'll put a colon there. And after we do this, because this is a number, this is a number we're guessing, we want to change this number into an integer. Now I can do this to change it into an integer. I could also do guess is equal to int guess that converts it to an integer. So either one is okay. I'm gonna prefer the more concise way and say guess int, okay? Now, why did I, why did I do it 
in this try except. And I hope you remember you do it in the try except because if somebody types in something that is not a number, then it's going to end up crashing. Okay, so if I type in a word here, it's going to end up crashing. All right? So right now, we're going to assume the user is going to put in a number, but in this case, I want to just, just make sure. Okay? So every time the user guessed, I also want to increase their number of tries. So that means the user has guessed one time. If this works and it's correct, it won't go to the accept. It will run this line, it will change it to an integer, and then this will come down here, and the accept will not get run. If the accept does get run, I want to say, please input a number uh, one to 100, okay? And then I want to continue. So that continue, what it does is it kicks us back to the start of the loop and anything after this we're gonna ignore. So following this through, I try, I guess, what number am I thinking of, one to 100. If I do, get, if I do put a number in, not a word, it says number of tries, then it says please input a number one to 100 and it continues. Okay, so this right now is still gonna be an infinite loop because I haven't given it a way out. And you can actually give it a way out pretty easily by doing this. Instead of saying one to 100, thinking of number 100, or zero to exit. So instead of just one to 100, I can give it another number, zero in this case, so that it will exit the loop. Okay, so it gives our input, and it exits the loop. So how do I check that? Well, it's still an integer. I still made this an integer, integer so it's gonna work out pretty well for me as long as it converts. Number of tries still gets incremented. It won't matter if I hit zero because we're gonna exit anyways. Uh, if, if I did put a bad input in here, it'll come down here, please input a number, and go back to the start of the loop. But let's say down here, if guess is equal, I'll put spaces equal to zero, then I want to break. And when you break, it exits whatever loop you're in at that time. So I'm in this while loop, which is true, and it should break out. So I will print at the end, thanks for playing, and, I, and we hope to see you again soon. All right. So right now, Everything we have should technically be working. If we have a while loop and we get the input, we check if we're putting an invalid input, then it comes back and it keeps doing the loop. If we put valid input in and it's a zero, we break. Otherwise, we do nothing. There's nothing that's, we're not checking for anything quite yet. Okay, so let's run this and let's test our code. So control alt B to go to the prompt here and let's put in a number so let's say 50 and it's just going to keep looping as long as i put in a number between one to one to 100. now if i put in a number larger okay it's still going to say no problem it doesn't care if i put in a number above it yet because we haven't actually checked that yet but if i put in something like this it'll say please input a number Okay, so it actually tells us you're doing something bad. We don't want that. If I put in zero, it says thanks for playing and we hope to see you again and it exits. All right, so this is our basic game loop. We have something in the loop which is doing something and it doesn't really do quite anything yet. It just asks us for a number. We haven't checked anything. And then down here, we actually have an error checking and we have a way to get out of the infinite loop as well. Okay, so that's the basics of a game loop. You could make this a little more simple, of course, but pretty much any little text-based game you're gonna make is gonna be using something like this. All right, in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something with these numbers, and we're gonna make it so the person can guess, and we're gonna tell them if they're high or low, or if they have the number correct. All right, see you in the next video.